The city of Oklahoma City spent $145,000 of your taxpayer money to drivers whose cars were damaged by potholes. They're potholes that the city admits it should have fixed before drivers hit them. KOCO's Jason Hackett investigates how the city responds to one of residents' most frequent complaints. This is the pothole that I hit. It's been filled now, obviously. A little more than a year ago, Lexi Crothers was driving her Audi after a snowstorm. There was a huge pothole there. I couldn't see it. It was night and I hit it and then my car became disabled and I had a lot of damage to my car. The total for a punctured tire, broken wheel bearing, alignment and a new wheel, $2,000. Probably had been there before and I probably bumped it before, but once the snow came, it really, really got intense. Left with a car that didn't work and two grand in bills, Crothers filed a claim against the city. So I started investigating it and I didn't think it was going to be as big of a deal as it was, but it really did turn out to be quite the process. Paperwork, multiple bids, photos, phone calls, months of waiting and filing a friendly lawsuit. Standard procedure for getting the city to pay. I had to fill out a lot, a lot of paperwork. Um, and you have to provide so much documentation. It took me about 30 days to submit the form and then I just started waiting. Six months later, she got her check. Those who want the city to pay up must submit a claim and file documents showing what happened. Sometimes that's as simple as taking a picture of the pothole. Other times it includes insurance companies, mechanics, and auto body shops. The city of Oklahoma City is, is self-insured, so our office in a way kind of acts as an insurance adjuster whenever a claim is filed. Paris says his office scrutinizes all claims and is a careful steward of taxpayers' money. But out of 263 pothole claims in 2019, it approved 190. If it is one of the streets that we're responsible for maintaining, and if we had prior notice and failed to repair it in a timely manner, then that would be a good candidate for approval. Often a claim is denied because there's no previous report of the pothole, but that's not a guaranteed rejection. The fact that there was a pothole there before that was repaired in such a way that it didn't last very long is sufficient for us to approve the claim. That freeze-thaw effect, so ice comes in, freezes the roadway, thaws, the water gets in there and pops up the pavement. Cox said the city's better streets, safer city sales tax has accelerated repaving, but potholes remain a consistent problem. The city fills around 80,000 potholes a year. With as many cruises we have out daily, that is our, our number one priority. The chicken and egg question frustrates Crothers because her pothole hadn't been reported. Lexi had to jump through extra hoops. I would hope that eventually there could be a better way that wouldn't make it so burdensome on the person who's already been wronged by the city by them having a pothole. Since that night, Crothers pays closer attention to her surroundings. I'm always really conscious of what I'm nearby. Jason Hackett, KOCO 5 News.